So hey there everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm sitting here laughing at myself for a couple of false starts. My name is Rich, I'm the channel host, and nine times out of ten we're talking about technology for growing our drone businesses and also technology that we can just use in other, other businesses as well. Today I wanted to start out, since uh, we're often utilizing this, I wanted to start out with OBS Studio. So I just wanted to show you this. One of the things that we do here are these types of video presentations. So whether or not you're using uh, using this for YouTube or whether or not you're just using it, maybe you're creating tutorials, maybe you're putting packages together for clients, but OBS Studio is a great streaming application that I use to capture the videos here. So when you're watching one of our videos, one of our tutorials, um, one of our edited pieces, if there's any part where I'm talking about it and guiding you through, then we're using OBS Studio for that recording. Now, several months ago, I had gotten the Logitech Brio, so I'm pointing at it right now because that's the camera you're seeing me on, and I had to install the Logitech G Hub to get some of the really cool features out of the Brio. After doing that, I started noticing that I was having some problems with OBS. Um, number one, I couldn't switch between different scenes. One of the things you can do in OBS is actually create different scene setups. So I could have me on one side or on the other side, or in this case, go ahead and hit number one. I'm gonna hit number one once more and I should be a much smaller image down in the right hand corner. Number two should be bringing me up to full size screen. And number three should be full screen with me not on it at all. So there we go. Let's go back to number one, and that should be our small one. And then number two should be our larger sized one. So just doing those shortcut keys, you can set up a lot of shortcut keys. So when you watch videos on YouTube and you see the host get bigger, get smaller, have little tickers below them, those are all different scene setups in OBS. Awesome. Well, I started having problems with those shortcut keys and got frustrated. And at one point I said, ah, just forget the shortcut keys. We'll do the videos as they are. But for some reason this morning, it just got to me and I said, we got to figure out what's going on with this. So I did some searches on the Logitech Brio and OBS first, because OBS is what I thought was having a problem with its latest update. That wasn't the case. As I read around the net, I found that people are having a hard time pinning this down. So we've got the answer here. The Logitech Brio actually caused a problem, not only for my shortcut keys, but also for exiting out of OBS. So if you're utilizing OBS and maybe it crashes when you exit, if you're on Mac's latest OS, um, if when you exit it crashes, it could be, if you're using the Logitech Brio, that that software is actually screwing with OBS. So what do we do? This morning, I uninstalled the Logitech Brio's uh, G Hub, the Logitech G Hub. And then I also made sure to clear it out of a couple other locations. And after doing that, wouldn't you know, let's do this again. My shortcut keys, let's change it to that one. My shortcut keys are now working. So there we go. So a quick little advisory to anyone who's making videos with a Logitech Brio and utilizing OBS. The problem if you're having any crashing on exit or if you're having problem with your shortcut keys, the problem is most likely Logitech's G Hub. So go take a look at that if you're using this setup and you're having similar problems, I would suggest uninstalling the Logitech G Hub um, program and just using OBS to control the um, the transitions between different scenes. So we'll let OBS handle the camera and the transitions, and we're just not going to use that Logitech G Hub at all. All right, everyone, we will be seeing more of our flight videos, more of our job site videos, but this year in 2023, we're going to talk about what's happening in the studio as well, because after we do our work in the field, we have a lot of post-production, whether it's video, stills, 360s, 3D models, 2D maps, we've got all these different things. We've seen the flights over and over again here on channel, but we wanna talk more about how all this stuff gets assembled. Also, if you wanna learn more about how this stuff gets assembled, head on over to classes.azdrone.net. Check out our class series, we've got 17 different courses there, and we have a full class bundle 
that gives you access to all 17 of those classes. All right, everybody, I hope you're having a great start to the new year. We are here incredibly busy here this year. So it's a great start to 2023, and we hope it keeps up. And I'll look forward to sharing with you all of the, uh, all of the new sites and all of the new job locations that we'll be doing in 2023.